Hello, retro computing enthusiasts. I wanted to make a short video to show you what I've been up to lately. When I was but a young un, uh, I somehow got a hold of some disks for the Apple II for a book and a programming environment called Corel the Robot. It turns out that this was associated with a book um, written by Dr. Richard Pattis that tried to introduce people to the idea of procedural programming using a made-up language that moved a little robot around rather than via Pascal, uh, which was the language that he was primarily working in. I reached out to Dr. Pattis a while ago. Uh, I have not been able to find a copy of Corel online. I reached out to Dr. Pattis and said, could you find these disks? And he wrote back and said, yes, in fact, I have them. He sent them to me. Uh, along with the original documentation, which I'm in the process of scanning and digitizing. So what you're seeing here is Corel running on an emulator. Sadly, it's not perfect. There's still a little more work to be done, but let me give you a short demo of it, or at least of as much as works. So we're here at the Apple UCSD Pascal kind of top level menu. We can... Uh, access the files and we can get a listing of the files on the disk. It's all the stuff you would expect to see. And what we're going to do is we're going to run the Corel program here. There we go. Uh, obviously it mentions the book. The book is part of learning this. So we're going to enter the simulator and all I'm going to do here is show you the compiler. As I said, for some reason in emulation, the actual simulator part of Corel is not working. Uh, I'm reaching out to the good people at archive.org to see if they can do a better job of imaging this disk than I have been able to so far. So we're going to load a program, which is STAIR, which is going to have Corel the Robot learn how to turn left. So you can see here, here's a new program. We're defining a function to turn right, which is to turn left three times. Then we're going to define this climb stair function as being turn left, move, then turn right, and move again. And then he's going to climb the stair and pick up beepers, which are objects that live within the world of Corel. Sadly, that's all I can show you right now. If I continue on, we just get kicked back out to the top level of Pascal. But I have hopes that we'll have Corel running in no time. Uh, if people are interested, I could drag out my Apple II uh, my real Apple II rather than an emulator and show this thing running uh, for real. Um, but I, I really think that when you show things like this, it's all very well and fine to show a computer running it. But the first question that people always have is how can I run this myself? So I really do want to get this running in emulation so that you can try it yourself. That's it. Not a huge update, but I just wanted to give people a little glimpse into uh, how I spend my Saturdays. So thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, see you later.